If I'm not wrong, it's a KTM. Mm, it is. So can you tell us about it? Okay, I love you. Thank you. Is an LGBT themed um, film. Um, it was shot in Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam. So the kwento niya is it's unrequited love. Um, Paul ah Jorah's character is in love with um Princess character. Tapos si Princess a boyfriend, and then another Thai character is in love with Jorah's. Tapos it's it's kind of um a journey film because um they traveled from. Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Ang dami ng LGBT films na mm-hmm. lumabas. Uh, oh, what's the big What's the big difference? No sex scenes. <laughs> okay. Clean. Um, clean. <laughs> pero binigyan kami ng R16. Thank you, MPRCB. <laughs> um, no kissing scene. Um, I really wanted to do something na walang ganon. Um, I really wanted to challenge the um, template na ginawa before. And um, this is the film that we really wanted to target the millennials and um, women. So, para siyang yaoy type na, ano, and Thai type na gay stories. So, um, well, ayoko siyang i-classify as LGBT theme, theme film. Gusto ko siyang i-classify as hugot film. Parang okay. gano'n. Uh, have you, have you uh, shown it in Thailand? Yes, I did. Um, it so premiered how, 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 in how, how, Bangkok. Tapos, a uh, Bangkok Film Festival. It, yun yung pinaka first na premiere. How was it? Um, maganda naman yung ano. Maganda naman yung um reception nila. Um, kasi may mga parts kasi na medyo illegal yung pagshoot namin. Uh-oh. So natakot kami kasi baka makulong kami dun yung palabas kami. Pero uh, we got the permission from the ratings board and their censorship board. So napalabas kami during the Uh-oh. festival. Uh, how are your actors? Because like Joris is a very good mm. actor. How, so how, how are they? I mean, si Joris kasi was not the first choice. Oh oh. <laughs> Tapos to play for that character because he was supposed to play princess character. Mm-hmm. Tapos at that time kasi si Prince di ba? Um, he came from somewhere. Parang mm-hmm. nagano siya di ba? Parang na um what do you call this? Walas siya sa showbiz na kwet siya. So at that time yung comeback niya before. Yeah, yeah. Tapos kasi 2015 pa to, ay 2014 pa siya niyo. Um, Joris is a really good actor, na-surprise ako. Sobrang galing-galing niya. Tapos, um, since wala kami PA and everything, kami-kami lang, um, uh, skeletal crew. So, dala-dala niya lahat ng mga, mm-hmm. ng mga gami. Tapos, we traveled by land, kung paano nag-travel yung characters. Um, surprising then um, he was able to um, create um, a chemistry with the Thai actor also. How, how do you feel about this move of FBCP? No? Na, uh, mag, talagang nagbibigay ng play date na hindi first day, last day. Mm-hmm. For all uh, indie, for, for the indie movies na kasi talagang ang hirap kumuha ng play date talaga. Uh, tapos ang hirap kumanap ng ng uh, anong ng releasing arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do you feel about this ano? Uh, the the uh, kumbaga uh, break or how, how do you call it na binibigay ng FDCP. Talagang sila na yung nakipag-usap sa SM. Yeah. It's a really good opportunity for filmmakers to be given this chance kasi mahirap talaga mag-distribute ng films. Um well, ako naman sa experience ko naman match on um, bordering to mainstream naman kasi mainstream naman talaga yung treatment namin dito. Medyo hindi naman kami nahirapan um kasi nag-screen na kami um with several theaters uh, for 2 years. But this one is a wider release. Um it's parang nabibigyan na ng opportunity yung films na makita ng wider audience and FDC we commend FDC for giving us this opportunity to really show our films. Yeah, come on. Ako, this one, like what was said, nga, it, it is uh, very good for indie filmmakers. If, like I mentioned, uh, apat na taon yung, yung, uh, yung film ko, uh, I was actually ready to move on until I got the call from FDCP that uh, they would review uh, put it for, mm-hmm. for screening. Because after Bel- Belgium, uh, to be fair to Cine Filipino, they were trying at that time to release the, mm-hmm. the film. But uh, it was actually rejected first by the cinemas because they said, it's artsy daw. So I 
tried to distribute it myself which is <laughs> which is crazy o o kasi yeah. uh, tatlong sinihan nakuha ko uh, I, I would book the the cinema but uh, I, I lost 20 pounds and lost a lot of money and they said I, I don't think I can do this so ang ginawa ko lang is ano na lang sa, sa schools na lang pinapalabas sa mga art galleries but but now this is a chance really uh, to parang get a wider audience and also at least until Visayas in yung uh, reach niya and I always believe that as, as a filmmaker ang unang uh, the first first release of your film actually you should be in the cinema because we're we yeah. always we always tell the story for the big screen and and I'm I'm glad that we have that program and if, if you notice also put it I, I framed everything uh, hopefully it, it looks like a painting because that was the original yeah. intention so mahirap lang kung sa maliit na screen lang and uh, and also surprisingly when I called back the yung mga actor si si Ian became really a superstar so I I'm also happy for that I don't know kung coincidence yan na now we're releasing it and uh, na, and is helping is uh, doing a lot of help for me in promoting the film well including Jasmine and Lauren Jasmine has already been uh, had a big following and then see Lauren also so um, I think it would be good for uh, those filmmakers who produce independently to have a program like this mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I think opportunities like this are really precious because, um, I mean, especially seeing in Grey we premiered in Venice last year. But until now, I mean, uh, we were always hoping that we would be able to come back and bring it back and show it in Philippine cinemas because, I mean, that's a, our biggest struggle as independent filmmakers here in the Philippines because we make so many films, but not all the films get to go to the cinemas. Actually, most of the films sometimes don't even get to the cinemas. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there's no first day, last day in the cine local uh, scheme, I think is a really wonderful and very important part because um, you know, we need to show Philippine films in Philippine cinemas. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every other I mean, American film is okay. I mean, the, the commercial releases here is wonderful, but you know, independent films need to be shown because they are also Philippine films. You know, it's, it's not like much commercial, it's more mainstream, it's, it's not good. It's just, this is all Philippine cinema. It all needs to be shown to the Philippine people. So I think that uh, schemes like this is very important. Mm -hmm. so, so are you more encouraged to do more films now? Definitely. With the cine local helping? I mean, definitely. I mean, I, I, I really uh, commend the uh, SM Cinemas for for being able to, to provide this to, to the filmmakers. And uh, it'd be wonderful if uh, you know, th this can continue for the foreseeable future. Okay. Well, what, what, what type of movies do you wanna that you wanna make? Um, give it a chance. <laughs> and, uh, and any any project that you are. Preparing for or a uh, uh, project that uh, you're planning or a project that you have in mind. Yes, I will start because I think I'm the oldest here among the three. Uh, I, I work in advertising, <laughs> and uh, Puti is my first film. But mm -hmm. I really love uh, my first love. Talaga is is filmmaking. Mm -hmm. I have actually three uh, finished scripts in my baul. Uh, the first is uh, Prisoner Alpha, which won a Palanca in 2009. It's about the incarceration of Nino Aquino, but it's the 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 scope is too big. But I'm currently writing actually a zombie film. Uh, it's about it's a zombie revolution in a hacienda. There's a major political satire. But I released it since I had no money. I released it as a comic book. It's called mm -hmm. Patay Kung Patay. So uh, I asked my writers uh, if we could release it first as a comic book, six parts. Tapos mag release muna ng una ko lang audience, pakap na tayo. But uh, what happened now is we're on our fifth 
So there is a, a fan base already. So hopefully I get to, to do that. And I'm also writing a World War II story. It's the story of my my father's family. Uh, they're a family of 13 who survived for 13 days behind a three-foot wall during the liberation of Manila as the Americans were bombing uh, Manila and the Jap Japanese were retreating. So I'm finishing that. Again, epic na naman, sorry. Uh, I, I think ganun ako mag-isip eh. So, hopefully, uh, because parang Philippine cinema is growing, I think, and mas maraming players na ngayon, I think ang importante mas maraming players, uh, aka mga producers, na uh, who would be open uh, to different ideas. I would love to do genres because um, I would love to do action. Um, I'm already writing one. Tapos, I want to explore other stuff also, probably horror. And I'd like to reach a wider audience for now. But um, I already shot um, a dystopian film. Um, I shot it last May and I, it's already currently in post-production. So, I uh, want explore that. Oh, okay. Can you tell us about that? And this one is uh, which one? The one I shot? No, the, the, oh yeah, the one in post prod. I in post prod now. Um, it's set in 2052 Philippines where there's already winter oh. and <laughs> super populated na yung ano. Uh, so super populated na yung Pilipinas. So legal na yung abortion. Ganun lang. Uh -huh. So shot it in Davao and gan. Uh -oh. <laughs> Super populated na ang dapat. Pinapatay na lahat. I like how we're doing genre. For my second film, uh, we're preparing for my second film and it's uh, the script has recently been to the Jerusalem Film Lab. Uh, it's called Motel Akasha and it's a horror film. So it's starring uh, JC Santos, who's uh, on board, and it's about JC, who is brought to the States or North America by his uh, crazy American father. And he's groomed to take over a voyeuristic sex motel that contains a bit with the spirit of a gapre that eats men and impregnates women. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all set in snow. We'll see who released first. No, I should. <laughs> see the local first. <laughs> <laughs> first. Uh, 